A lot of you have seen the movie Prey. It's an awesome installment in the Predator series. I really loved it because it's full of tomahawks. In this video, I'm going to be attempting the rope tomahawk trick. Stick around. Thank you so much for tuning in, my friend. I want to take time to thank all of my subscribers and welcome all the new visitors here to 411 Outdoors. I hope you find this content enjoyable and helpful. The trick we're gonna be looking at in this video is tying a rope to the tomahawk so that you can pull the tomahawk back to you after that you've thrown it. In this movie, they had to battle the predator with primitive weapons and the protagonist was really good with a tomahawk, but she didn't wanna lose her tomahawk. She didn't wanna risk throwing her tomahawk at the predator and not being able to get it back. So she developed this trick. What I'm about to attempt is going to be very dangerous. If you're gonna do this, do it at your own risk. If you have no experience in this area, I would not try this at all because this could lead to serious injury or even death if it goes wrong. I'm only attempting this because I've had loads of training. To do this, you're just gonna need a tomahawk and some rope cut long enough to travel between your throwing point and the point of contact. Make sure your rope is not too thin. This is almost too thin for me, but I think it's gonna work well. I think the classic traditional tomahawk like this is the best because it's not too light and it's not too heavy. It's perfect for the task. The next thing we're gonna need is a target that is sturdy enough to hold this task. If you've just got a target dangling from a tree like some of mine are, it's not gonna work because you're gonna throw the tomahawk and then you're gonna pull back on it. It's gonna pull your target out. I'm gonna be throwing at a target that I've got wedged between two trees. It's nice and solid. If you've got an old tree that maybe is dying you wanna throw at, that would be good too. This is just gonna be a one rotation throw, of course. A lot of times I'll just include highlights in a video just so that I can demonstrate the product and get on to the next thing. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you my failures and my successes because this is something I've never done before and there's no way that I'm gonna be able to jump right into this and be good at it in the beginning. But I know with enough work, I'm gonna be able to get good at this. Without further ado, let's roll. After several attempts and not being able to make it work, I learned that there were several factors that prevent you from doing this. Number one, sometimes you can stick it in the target so well that it doesn't want to come out. Number two, too much slack in your rope makes you lose your groove. Number three, where the rope is tied. It worked better for me to have mine lower down the handle. Number four, too much hesitation. You do need to be careful and you do need to anticipate problems, but you can be too fearful. Number five, just make sure the tomahawk has a clean path ahead of the rope. Sometimes the rope can get wrapped around the whole tomahawk and really get stuck. Number six, don't pull the rope so low. Pull up on it a little bit so that it can have time to get some air. Once you start getting familiar with how the tomahawk comes out of the target and the pattern of flight that it has, you start getting to where you can get in line to catch it. Number seven, make sure you're pulling the rope with your non-throwing hand. After overcoming these issues, I started dialing it in. As you can see, I started having some success and I've gotten pretty consistent with it. I had more success putting my rope on the bottom than I did putting it up top. Now there's a lot of factors that goes into this. If you throw the tomahawk and it sticks into the target too deep, it's gonna be very hard to pull out. So this is never gonna be a 100% kind of thing. And even if you don't catch it mid air, being able to pull it back to yourself is pretty cool. This seemed to be the best position, not getting the whole blade stuck in, but just like the top corner right there at an angle, because when I pulled the rope, it would come up this way and fly through the air, making it easier to catch. It is very important to get out of the flight pattern of the tomahawk. Just get off to the side and try to catch it from the side. It is also very important not to use too much strength or too much force when you pull the rope. You don't want the tomahawk coming back too fast. You have to practice pulling it just hard and fast enough 
to generate a moderate speed back toward you. Remember this, pride goes before destruction. Don't ever be afraid to just run and get out of the way if things don't look right. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm very happy with the way that everything went. I'm happy with the progress that I was able to make. One of the most important things with tomahawk or knife throwing or any type of throwing is that you anticipate the danger that's involved. The moment that you stop respecting the tools that you're working with and the moment you forget how dangerous they are is the moment you can get hurt really bad. Keep training, keep trying, have fun. Take care.